Sir Tap Tap, and this is Playing Chicks by Soft Fizzy. This should also not really be selectable. So let's get right some good feedback going. This would be better as a link. Anyway, let's go to help. Each chicks can throw the ball from left by passing key. Pressing key W, D, X, G, and U to his next chicks. Each chicks can catch the ball by pressing key 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, respectively, in the left. Whenever ball reaches the rightmost chicks, you score 5 points. And he can then pass the ball backward to next chick. Whenever any of the chicks fail to catch the ball, you lose one of your life and ball passes back to first chicks. This game has three levels with one chicks added at each level. Below is the graphical help of the game. See, I want you to seriously, with me now, hold with your, put one finger on each of these buttons. One, two, three, four, five, with one hand. Then, with your other hand, hold, put a finger on W, D, X, G, and U. Now tell me if you think playing this is going to be enjoyable. It's not. So yeah, the first time I tried this, I was like, what the hell? What buttons am I even pressing? And I just pressed random things until stuff happened. And, you know, you would think, you know, there should be like some logical order in which you press the uh, buttons. The 1 through 5 is just fine. And if you used 6 through 0 on the keyboard to do the throwing, you'd all be nicely in a row and you can hold your two hands there and it'd be very comfortable and very simple. But then there's this. In addition, the game is extremely slow. And uh, W. You know, I was thinking maybe there's a different keyboard layout, but you know, pretty much everyone uses QWERTY or a slight difference. Like a slightly edited version of QWERTY. The developer seems to be from India, and they do appear to use QWERTY keyboards. Uh, yeah, it's not very apparent where you can catch the ball. And the controls make my eyes water with blood. And water. And I don't know what these things are here. These are clouds. I can look like this too. But yeah, I like that there are only three clouds and they're all perfectly parallel. So go. Let's do this. And the way the levels progress is incredibly odd. You will see in about 20 seconds. So Try and survive for 20 seconds. That was the most awkward angle ever. Whoa, what? Pfft. Okay, the angle depends on where you are in the air, which that kind of makes sense, but it makes it even more awkward. <laughs> yeah. Sudden jump to level two. Okay, then. Now there are four birds, and I hate all of them. And, oh. Well, this one looks kind of like a chocobo. I like the art style, though, of the birds, anyway. But, uh, this is a great example of how not to do your controls. Make it so you can comfortably hold all of the controls, you know, in one or two hands. Or if you need to move, they should all be together in a logical fashion. So I usually use the uh, WASD keys and then the, uh, the fuck do I put there? <laughs> you usually use the WASD and then the keys around it to do alternate functions. You know, that all of the, if you used only numbers, this would be, I would stop forgetting where the goddamn release button is, but. Uh, I think this could be a kind of fun little mini game. If the birds passed this a lot faster and it was like a timing game instead of a, what the hell button am I supposed to press? Game. But, yeah. Be careful when you make your games, please. And, 
make dying be faster, because wow, that was painful. 25. The scores are also insultingly low, considering how much effort goes into that. But, yeah. You can play this at Congregate or Newgrounds. It's...